at the same stage as sending him calm. You're a beautiful birdie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, I love you too. And he's responding to that. We set the intent to calm, to invite help, and um, to reassure, and we're going to work and help you, mate. Okay? So there we are. That doesn't mean I have to uh, trust that he won't bite. I think he would, given the first opportunity. However, coming back to this toe or this foot, gently we're just going to stretch and mobilise that toe where um, there is restricted movement. And each movement back, I'm taking the toe just a little bit further. I'm also using energy, the intent, um, to release adhesions, to allow stretching. Um, so it's not only physical work that we're doing, it is energetic work. So already we've brought that toe back to that position. However, normally it, this will come back uh, further than that. So we'll do another few minutes work, uh, loosening up uh, this joint here a bit further. Normally the foot will sit flat. So we're just working on one toe at, the, at one time. We're securing the rest of the leg against his body, so if he were to struggle, there is minimal risk of him breaking his leg. And um, you can see that so far we're making good progress without having to anaesthetise him through um, the calming effect. You can watch, uh, you can Google YouTube, Dr. Ross Perry, spelled D-O-C-T-O-R-R-O-S-P-E-R-R-Y, to um, see quite a few video clips of different birds being calmed to facilitate examination and to facilitate procedures that many vets um, would perform under general anaesthesia. The important point is that the bird's not suffering pain and they're not distressed. Ask quietly, calm, calm. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Just calm. Just calm. Good boy. Calm, calm. Right, we've now got the, the toe, we've probably made another uh, 10 degrees um, progress in the uh, movement of this toe. So we're just working quietly and my intent is that energy is flowing between my thumb and forefinger and between these fingers and everything and generally to uh, transform at all adhesions that is the intent to transform all adhesions um, and um, restriction in movement in this in this foot Steady, steady. Calm, calm. Calm, calm. Calm, calm. Oop. Oop. Right, we'll give that one. Uh, we haven't completely done it, but we've we've made good progress so far. So we've now got the foot sitting at that position. Now we have to work on the inside rear toe as well. So that's the next one. Uh, we'll start by just doing that, supporting the toe along its length to where it joins onto the foot. And most of the, um, the pressure is near the tip of my finger. So this is demonstrating to you a form of physiotherapy 
for helping birds with clenched feet, um, partial paralysis and so forth. And the idea is to loosen up and prevent adhesions, um, to lubricate the joints, get the joints working again. Often I will support this physiotherapy with nutritional supplements that contain sources of powerful glyconutrients and provide um, all essential sugars that are required for healing and for regrowth of the cartilage of the joints and so forth. You'll often note that I mention such uh, nutritional support during my videos for a whole range of things and I personally use these supplements myself and um, they've made a huge difference to the quality of my life since 2000 or since basically 2000, the year of the Olympics in Sydney.